We're getting ready to take a look at the 2017 25 foot front bed flying cloud. So we're at Lazy Days in Tucson, Arizona on a rainy day um, and uh, just checking out some of the Airstreams they have in stock and we have fallen in love with this uh, 25 foot flying cloud. So um, just taking a look here at the outside. Um, got your propane case here. Um, nice that you have a 30 amp hookup here in the front, but they also have a 30 amp hookup uh, towards the back. So depending on where your electrical um, box was, it wouldn't be a problem hopefully to get it connected. Um, you've got your outdoor shower here. Um, and then uh, your water uh, to fill your tanks. Uh, and then also this is a flush, so you can flush your black tank, which is nice. We actually don't have that on our 30 foot safari. Um, and uh, here's the 30 amp uh, in the back and then um, for your cable TV. And uh, hot water heater. So this is access to your hot water heater right there. All right. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay. So you can tell some people have uh, been in here with some wet shoes, so it's a little dirty on the floor, but very nice, light and bright in here. Um, love how they've taken some of the yellow out of the, uh, the wood here. Ours has more of a yellow hue to it and they've definitely um, diminished that a little bit. So, um, And lots of seating areas is what we love about this. We don't have uh, a good entertainment area in our 30 foot safari so it's just nice to have this huge couch here that extends out. This becomes a bed um, and this also right here this table goes down and this also becomes a bed. <coughs> You've got storage overhead. Uh, and um, it's like radio CD player right there. Um, hooks as you come in, I guess you can hang your keys here. A little storage compartment down in here. Um, this table flaps up so you have a cutting surface uh, when you're in the kitchen. There's storage actually under the couch. Um, and uh, yeah. Nice big storage compartments there. Um, and uh, nice recessed lighting. It's one thing we don't have in our RV, which we really like. It just looks clean. And I like how they've done the aluminum along the ceiling and along the, the sides. It just looks real modern in here. Uh, in terms of the um, air conditioning unit, it actually sits up in here and then it's forced uh, air uh, throughout the, um, the unit. You can actually change the direction here if you want the air to blow a certain way or you can turn it off and just turn it on in the bedroom if you're back in the bedroom you don't have to cool the whole rig so that's really nice and um, although it's the air conditioning isn't on right now so apparently it's very quiet um, which is something that we don't have in ours it's pretty loud in fact if you want to talk on the phone uh, in our airstream you have to turn off the AC so in here not an issue um, so uh, the uh, refrigerator is fairly large. Um, I think I remember seeing it was like seven um, cubic, feet. cubic feet. Seven cubic feet, yeah. Uh, one thing that they, they don't have is they don't have uh, an oven. They have this convection microwave, however. So um, if you went with a little bit larger, like a, the 26 foot, which they actually just started making last year, that um, has the, the option for a to have both uh, an oven and a convection microwave. But in this one, you just have the microwave. Um, as far as uh, the stove goes, it's a three burner stove. Um, and storage overhead. Sink. Oh, it's a nice, big, deep sink. That's very nice. A lot bigger than the one we have. One thing you don't have, though, is you don't have the um, the separated sinks where you've got like, you know, your, your rinse uh, and then where we set our drying rack, but um, lots of storage underneath. So the trash can goes there. And then lots of uh, drawers, several drawers here, about three drawers. And then underneath. 
One thing we really like is this shelf. It comes out with the rack so you can get all the way to your canned goods in the back. That's a really nice feature. And then just kind of a narrow uh, uh, storage closet there. So there's a, in the hallway here, there's a door that you can uh, close. Um, it's just kind of like a bifold door that you can use to close off this area of the, the rig if you want to. Uh, big, over the storage compartment, uh, over the uh, refrigerator, and then a large closet here. You can hang some items. And uh, the heating in this unit is um, forced air. It's a propane heating uh, system. So, uh, And here in the hallway, you've got the shower. So the shower and the toilet area are separated. But um, pretty tall. I think Ryan could fit in here for the most part. But you also have this bench here that you can sit down on. Um, so, And then... Here is the toilet. We're not hooked up to electric right now, so it's a little dark in here. It might be hard to see. But um, nice big storage compartment. Um, it's also a mirror. So it's a nice big mirror. And uh, toilet, sink, and then some storage under the sink. And storage also beside the toilet. It's quite a bit of storage actually right there. So more storage than we have in our 30 foot. Uh, there's another bifold door here so if you want to separate the bedroom off from the bathroom and the rest of the rig you can close the door there. TV that comes out here um, so you can watch TV while you're in bed. And in this model the uh, bed um, is uh, facing this direction. Uh, I think you, you can get it facing the other direction in some models, but um, we actually prefer this because you have the, the window here and you can more easily see out the window with the bed facing this direction. So this would be awesome to lie in bed and just kind of, if you're in a great spot, uh, to look out and, you know, see some beautiful scenery. Um, storage bins over the bed. I don't think these open up. Nope. Uh, electrical hookup there. Oh, that's nice. There's two uh, USB ports right here. Next to the bed. Charger, iPad, iPhone, whatever. And then a little reading light. There's one over on that side of the bed too. Uh, and some storage here. Along the side. So some more hanging storage. Nice deep shelves. And then there's also a storage container here uh, underneath the bed. Okay. All right. Does this lift up? Yeah, it does. Okay. So moving on back into this area. I think I didn't comment on the TV here before, um, but uh, also a TV in this living space. And it looks like they've got the, the blackout. Um, I'm guessing these are the blackout blinds on here. But um, lots of windows in this unit. I think I read in the specs that there's like 17 windows, so it lets in lots of light. Uh, it feels really bright and spacious in here, and even though it's five feet less than our 30 foot, it actually seems more spacious. So um, we would love to trade in our 30 foot for this 25 foot flying cloud. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and stay tuned for more adventures of Live the Odyssey.